Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Today, let's take a look at a computer graphics related term called double buffering. To understand why there is a need for double buffering, we've got to take a look at how graphics hardware actually works. Let's say you're playing a game right now and you're looking at a particular scene. This scene needs to be drawn out by the graphics card. And of course, your graphics card has to take the scene in a particular order. What this means then is that it's not actually drawing the entire scene at once. And if what the graphics card is doing is it's directly drawing to your screen, then you'll actually see things appear one by one on screen. So of course the effects wouldn't be very nice because, well, you'll keep seeing this flickering where the scene is repeatedly withdrawn as you move your character around. This can also lead to some problems. For example, say you're playing a shooter game and your enemy is taking cover behind a wall. You're not supposed to know he's dead, but because things are drawn one by one, you may actually see the enemy being drawn before the wall is drawn as well to occlude the enemy. And that of course could be a problem. To avoid the issue of actually letting the user see items being drawn on screen, what happens is your graphics card doesn't actually draw directly to your screen. Instead, it has two different frame buffers called the front and back buffer. The front buffer is what is shown on your screen, whereas the back buffer is where the graphics hardware can do all the work. Instead of drawing directly to your screen, your graphics hardware can take its time to draw onto the back buffer. Only at the moment when the image is ready, are the front and back buffers swapped. So that basically now the back buffer with the new image is now the front buffer and its contents are shown on screen as one change. The new back buffer can then be cleaned out and the graphics card can then start drawing the next frame onto that buffer. What this means is you'll never need to see the flickering in which basically the whole scene is repeatedly redrawn. The drawing now happens in a way that you cannot see. All you see are the results when the drawing is complete. And there you have it, that is the concept behind double buffering and of course now you understand why we actually need this. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis, until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Hello, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget I appreciate every like, favorite and comment you give me. If you'd like to see more from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe. For more updates outside of YouTube, do follow my official Twitter account at 0612TV. And if you'd like to see more of my work, you can also check out my About Me page. Once again, thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612TV.